Um, can you? as the father take the bunnies downstairs because i think that like i would not trust the kids with them any longer this is just like disturbing me on so many levels hi lennies and bunny lovers welcome back to the channel today in our usual fashion i will be reacting to another youtuber being weird with their bunny i don't really know what to make of this situation it's basically a family channel. They're called the Jancy family. They have quite a large following and they recently got two bunnies. They also have very young children. You can already tell by the title of this video, the kids cut the bunnies hair. Shocking. So that should kind of tell you what's going to happen in this video. I just want these videos to serve as examples of how bunny care in our society and in our culture can improve. And just so you know, I do not want any of you to go over to their channel and write mean comments or bully them or anything. I don't condone online bullying. This video is really to serve as a form of education to bring awareness to proper bunny care. And I also hope that it serves as some form of self-reflection for the Jancy family. They might not be aware of the consequences of their actions or that if they don't improve starting now, that it could wind up being a lot worse. As always, please subscribe, smash that like button, and hit the bell for unlimited bunny content. Don't forget to follow us on our other socials as well, because Lennon has some really adorable photos on Instagram that you guys don't see here on YouTube. So let's go ahead and watch this. I'm only going to play short little clips because it's a long vlog. We don't have to go through the whole thing. As usual, I will be blurring out kids faces and whatnot just out of respect for them so we got the bunnies here a lot of you guys been asking for them so whenever they're not here we take them out to the backyard and they have the little corral to run around yeah so most of the time they're out there but right now they're here this is oreo aka blackie and that is bun bun so right there um that housing for the bunnies is completely inappropriate. As we all know, bunnies don't belong in small cages. Furthermore, it's two bunnies, not just one. So whenever you're dealing with two or more, you have to give them double or triple the space. Based on this clip alone, I don't see a litter box. I don't see hay anywhere. I don't see a lot really. I see wood shavings and that's it. I think there's a little water bottle, but as we know, the most natural way for bunnies to drink water is out of a water bowl. Bunnies that drink out of bottles tend to be at risk of dehydration, so I think they should switch that out with a bowl. So whenever they're not here, we take them out to the backyard and they have the little corral to run around. The way that this guy is talking, he's almost speaking as if taking them outside is like providing them with some sort of luxury or doing them some sort of favor, which quite in fact is the opposite. It's very, very dangerous for bunnies to live outside as prey animals. They are vulnerable to all sorts of things beyond human control, such as predators, bad weather. They're very temperature sensitive. So anyway, let's just keep watching. You're gonna go and play in there? Oh no, oh no! <laughs> it's okay. They want to go and run around, probably. George, wait. Where this is going to be really hard, probably, but I want you to not be mad at the kids because kids don't know any better. It seems to me like th this family, they're not doing anything out of malice, it's out of lack of education. So, the way that that little boy tried to pick up the bunny, um, and the bunny just was not having it, just went straight into hiding and scurried off. That's a huge indicator that there is no bonding going on between the bunny and this family. There is not a strong relationship there, and the bunny is very scared of these people. But also, that is how a bunny tends to respond when they are living in a cage. What the heck? Hey guys! guys. What is this? Please? Close the door. Why are the bunnies? Guys! Who's that here? Oh, oh. No matches! What happened? 
Surrey George. Is that one is her? Guys, come on, guys. Guys, this is not funny. Surrey, what did you do with the bunnies? I just cut the back one a little. Yeah. But, but why are you cutting their hair, Surrey? He's bald, mama. You can see the skin of the bunny. Why would you do that? Because it was mean to the white one? That's why you yeah. cut his hair? Yeah. yeah. It was like chasing it and trying to buy it. I don't really know where to start with this. When they start filming the bunnies, the black bunny is chasing the white bunny. It is very evident to me that these bunnies are on the verge of getting into a very big fight. Then one of the kids said that they decided to shave off the black bunny's fur because it was chasing the white bunny. That bunny is now left with bald spots everywhere. You guys, that is very, very dangerous. You should not leave a child alone with shears or an electric razor of any sort. I am kind of horrified by this because this could have gone so much worse. This could have resulted in the bunny going into shock or the child accidentally cutting the bunny with the razors, causing some sort of serious injury. This could have resulted in potentially death. These are also the kinds of bunnies that don't need to be sheared. They don't have that kind of fur. They're not um, angoras. They're not lion heads. These are bunnies that kind of look like Lenin. The black bunny actually does look like her a little bit. You cannot play with them right here, mom, and look at all the hair. That's a lot, mommy. Okay, I need you guys to grab the bunnies. You guys don't have to take them downstairs. So then the father says, okay, you guys have to grab the bunnies and take them downstairs. Um, can you, as the father, take the bunnies downstairs? Because I think that, like, I would not trust the kids with them any longer. Um, this is, this is just, like, disturbing me on so many levels. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at that. This is, like, it's all the way through, sorry. I need you guys not to do this again, okay? I need you guys to stop grabbing this stuff, okay? Okay, guys, so we already brought the bunnies. So why did you really want to cut the hair? Because um, it was long. It was long? But you don't cut the bunny's hair, Suri. I, I cut the black one, and, and after, I decided to cut the white one, but I thought it was a bad idea to do one. You thought it was a bad idea, or you heard us coming? You heard us coming and you hit, huh? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Who was cutting it? George or Siri? Sorry. Not a good idea, guys. Okay, so that essentially is the parts of that vlog that the bunnies are in. They did not show at all the pen, or he called it a corral, uh, outside. So I have no idea what that setup looks like, but it does really worry me that they are keeping the bunnies out there when they are not in the cage. And honestly, guys, as much as I would love the bunnies to free roam in this house, I don't think I trust them free roaming with the two kids. Like, normally I would just say, just free roam them and bunny proof. But in this case, I would feel more comfortable if they were kept in an exercise pen. And exercise pens, if they are large enough, can be very appropriate for rabbits. Again, I don't know what their house looks like, if they have a spare room, or you know, if they can gate these bunnies a different way than keeping them in that tiny little cage. I just hope that they realize that the way that they are keeping those bunnies is very, very different. Dated. This to me just looks like a very typical situation that is probably going on in thousands of households right now where the parents got their kids bunnies. Jancy family, if you see this, I really recommend you watch my videos on proper rabbit care or that you do further research. The bunnies need huge quantities of hay. They need to get spayed and neutered if you're gonna keep a pair together. They need a lot more space, at least eight feet by eight feet. Domestic bunnies belong indoors. They're so vulnerable, they're so delicate, 
and keeping them indoors is the best way to have control over the environment. I don't think that was a good video topic for them, honestly. They could film so many more things. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell and all that jazz, and we will see you all soon. Bye. Mwah.